there YouTube land and welcome back to the Small Workshop Adventures. Um, uh, just a bit of housekeeping before we get started. If you're new to the channel, please uh, click the like button and subscribe. It's really, really appreciated. I don't know about you. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, I'm quite old school because uh, I, I started my, uh, you know, I, I learned way back in well let's say way back for some people it's not old school but I, you know i was doing uh, i was doing woodwork in the 70s you know that's when i started and 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 the 80s um and something that uh, wasn't that important was health and safety <laughs> so am i going to talk about health and safety well and all things around that and, and things about looking after, you, you, looking after ourselves. And uh, it just never used to be an issue to me. I wasn't brought up that way. You just got on with it, uh, particularly my dad, my granddad and all that stuff. But you know that I'm uh, very, uh, that well-being is important. Both, and, and I talk a lot about mental well-being. Well, physical well-being is equally important. And I do have to try and remind myself because <laughs> I just get in there. I still have my old ways. And if I'm honest, I sort of sit in. Uh, but I know a lot of you are really hot on this and it's a really important uh, discussion. So what are we doing here? Well, I bought myself... A new face mask. I've got some other face masks that I use, and sometimes I don't. <laughs> Who's honest about that? And uh, you know, you, you're sanding away, or you just do it. I don't. I don't cover myself up all the time. I don't. And I know actually I should because the the understanding, uh, 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 knowledge, and and what we now know about what's in the atmosphere and how that can affect us. So, in the interests of trying to improve my well-being <laughs> i bought a new mask which is a gvs 501 uh half mask respiratory it's a p3 so here we are uh it's a gvs um can you see that du, 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 du. i think that's coming in there so we're just going to do a little see how it feels this is a medium to light m to l i've also got some extra filters uh which we're going to look at now I need to improve when I'm sanding because I just get on and do it. I'll be honest, hands up. <laughs> I just truck on and I probably still will. I won't always reach. It's, it's, it's like it's not there. I don't automatically reach. And I know some of you out there, you're covered up and you do it brilliantly. You cover yourself up all the time. Uh, ear defenders. I've got my ear defenders. Here we are. Now I can't hear you if you're talking to me. <laughs> you now <laughs> do i put this on when the wife is talking yes ah. <laughs> anyway <laughs> no i've got some stuff and i've got goggles although I, i've got glasses as well so that does there, there's some protection there so i have got them <laughs> now i'm looking around for me goggles and i don't know whether i think they're in my van <laughs> so i do use them anyway <laughs> enough of my <laughs> not adhering to modern health and safety standards. So we're just gonna little, have a little look at this mask and see how we get on with it. So the first thing to do, not that I really know what I'm talking about here, so, but it is a high efficiency synthetic particulate air filter. High efficiency. Now I know there are some other even better ones, I'm aware, because I've watched some videos that can do uh, filtrate out even smaller stuff that's going on but this is hespa h e s p there we go high efficiency synthetic particulate air filter and it filters according to this 99.95 percent of dust mites and fumes so there we go i'm just reading what's on the box now I got this from Screwfix. Um, how much did I pay? Twenty nine, I think twenty nine pound. And these are about twelve pound. The filters, the extra filters, which are replacement filters. Not actually sure how long these will last. But I don't know about you, but if you wear glasses out there, do you steam up when you get your mask? Is it like hard work? Because if you don't wear glasses, 
then it's a lot easier, isn't it? Um, because you just don't steam up. And that's one of the things that I have to try and overcome is it just gets in the way. And I can't actually physically see what I'm doing. Not that I can see half the time anyway, because <laughs> my classes don't work in the right direction with my very focals and all that, all that more senior stuff that's appearing in my life. <laughs> but, um, so wearing a mask with goggles does present challenges. We had that through COVID, didn't we? When we all had to wear masks all the time. And every time I had to keep wearing my glasses on the end of my nose, because as soon as I put that on there, you had to learn how to do it because you get the mask under there. But then I couldn't see and my glasses are falling off because I needed my glasses right around there because I had to wear a mask. It's just hard work, isn't it? So I do sometimes go, sod it. <laughs> I'll just, I'm just sanding and doing. I've got the door open, but I do know for those of you out there that are going to be all over me on this, <laughs> that I do need to pay more attention to this aspect of my uh, woodworking. So we're going to look at this uh, little bit, this little uh, little product and see how we get on with it. So we're just going to open her up. Let's open her up and see how she feels. Brand spanking new. we go we've got a nice little bit and we've got some instructions do we read the instructions or do we just go for it and dive straight in like lots of us do cleaning maintenance i'm going to keep that for all those lists all those things that i've got bedtime reading for that i never read <laughs> anyway there it is and here's the mask we've got actually it's actually pretty cool isn't it um, looking at that, it's got some filters. We're going to look at that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to fit it and see how it feels. Right, what mask? One filter mask. Let's uh, let's put her on. Let's uh, see how she fits. I'm going to have to adjust these, I'm sure. Oh yeah, it's very loose at the minute. Glasses are steaming up already. So that one's no good. I've got to adjust that. Hang on. Right. See, already I'm steaming up. Um, it might actually... Oh. Right, hang on. Let's adjust these because this is all a bit loose. So we've got some adjustment straps on the side. So we'll just pull that back. Oh, dropping it. Clumsy. And let's pull that one through as well, the other side. Maybe. Can we see that? Is that better on me? Just sliding around all over the place. I think it might be easier just to adjust it here. Pull it tight. That might be the better way to do it. Can't see what I'm doing. There we go. I think that's the better way to adjust it, is put it on your face and then come in. How do I look? <laughs> there we go. We are. I, now the, the test is on my glasses steaming up. And how comfortable is it? Now I'm breathing. The glasses test which is the big one to me. You know what? I'm actually not steaming up. I'm quite impressed. If I pull that a bit tighter and create a better seal, that's going to be even better, isn't it? Now I'm pretty sealed in. I won't win any. Uh, I won't win any glamour awards for this. But now, how comfortable is it? 
I can certainly breathe very well. I can breathe very comfortably. And it's actually all right. I mean, would I want to be with this on my face for hours? Probably not. Let me pause. I have to say that um, I'm calling it the glasses test, the steaming up glasses test. And my glasses didn't really steam up. So that's actually a really good, that's a good seal, isn't it? I suppose that's, the, that's what they're meant to do if you've got a really good mask. Um, and these are P3, I think it is, filters, P or P3 HEPA filters. Um, am I saying that right? Yeah, P3 filters that are in there. P3, you can see that there. Yeah, they, they feel comfortable. I mean, what is there to say about a mask? Now we're just going to look at how easy it is to change the filters and get these. So just inside here, uh, a little uh, is a little toggle thing here, which is on the outside there. You can see that there. So you just turn it. So we just turn that and that will open up, should. Yeah, it opens up the filter. And I believe you just peel them out. Yeah, nicely sealed. Change out the filter, just peel it out. So these are brand new filters, so I'll put them back in there. And again, you just slot that in. How easy is it with my uh, fiddly fingers? Actually, yeah, straightforward. Pretty straightforward. In, pretty straightforward. Put that back. Turn that round, which is in there. Same on that side. Filters are fitted. Really that simple. I think I bought myself a nice little mask. Now the proof will be in the pudding of, of wearing it over, you know, for, for a while in, in, in the workshop or when I'm doing some sanding. But what I've got to do is in, more and more is get myself in the, uh, the habit of wearing one of these. Now I do wear them periodically, maybe not one as good as this, but I do wear, uh, I'm looking for my, where one of my masks is, there's one over here that I've been, been wearing recently. I've been wearing these sort of things, uh, but you steam up, don't you? And you can get packs of five. Um, you, you know, I wear them and uh, when I'm consistently working in a dusty environment, then I do wear them, but they get steamy. Uh, well, I do, I get my glasses get and it just, it just annoys me. <laughs> It just annoys me. This might be a little bit of a game changer. Now, I know some of you out there have been wearing this stuff for years. Um, and you just load better than me at doing uh, doing doing all this stuff. Um, being a sole trader and, and, and a loan worker, it's down to me, isn't it? Nobody's going to come and check on me and say, ah, oh, you haven't got your hard hat on. You haven't got your safety goggles on. You haven't got this. You haven't got that. And uh, am I always going to wear them? Probably not, if I'm honest holding my hand up, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't, does it? So that's what this is about. This is just a little review. I will come back to you and then you'll see this from time to time in videos, I'm sure. Uh, but thanks for watching. It's the GVS, um, the GVS SPR501, GVS SPR501. I bought this at Screwfix. I'm sure other, um, outlets and other suppliers are, are available as well <laughs> but go and check it out if you're looking for a, a really decent mask it fits comfortable and importantly in the glasses test my glasses at the moment are not steaming up and that's good so thanks for watching um yeah click the like button subscribe all of that stuff love it and uh, and share and do whatever you do i really really do appreciate uh, having you here on the channel with me and sharing on my many adventures whether it's tour reviews whether it's well-being whether it's small projects big projects all sorts of stuff comes out of a small workshop so from me mark at the small workshop adventures take care everybody bye mm -hmm.